Hey gang, welcome back to man time. Another day uh, farming, baling uh, hay. Uh, or actually just got done doing the last part of that cut uh, with the um, fixed uh, hay cutter, the uh, the 451. And uh, if anybody thinks that, you know, you can just kind of step into this stuff, uh, buy the equipment and have a business doing it, um, you, you've got to make a, you've got to make a commitment uh, physically, mentally, um, in the skills that you have to make those type of repairs. Uh, if I hadn't had those skills uh, in the capability of, of welding, um, mechanical ability to take that stuff apart and put it back together correctly, um, stamina to be in the sun uh, while doing it, um, it, it just wouldn't happen. Uh, these things have to happen quickly. I've got a crew coming tomorrow to help me get the hay up out of the field. Um, fortunately, they aren't new anymore. Uh, same guys that were helping me last time, and now I've got a third. Uh, so I can have one driving and, uh, and two loading. And that way I can be bailing during the day. We don't have to deal with the fire ants, which is typically how I like to do it. But as, as I was finishing up the cutting there, I was thinking of my workflow and how I can make it the most efficient in, uh, in getting the baler serviced, which I still have to do. Um, and then also getting the hay rake serviced uh, and then I'm going to wait until uh, as close to dark as I can uh, to get that raking done and give the hay the most time to cure. Um, it's 100 degrees, it's dry today, uh, but uh, so, so that'll mean that the hay will cure pretty quickly and that fresh stuff, uh, which was a small percentage of the hay, should have enough time to, uh, to cure. And then I'm not going to bale it tonight either, so it'll be able to cure in the rows uh, overnight um, should be another fairly dry night so should be good to go but um, yeah first thing I did was uh, set down the hay cutter and unhooked that from the tractor then I hooked up the baler brought the baler up here unhooked the baler left it went back hooked up the uh, hay rake and brought it up here still have it hooked up to the tractor I need to service that uh, lube it up and everything and it'll be hooked up to the tractor ready to go I can hop on the tractor go back there rake the hay uh, and then um, drop the hay rake off come back up here with the tractor hook up to the baler uh, and then leave it hooked up um, to the baler so in the morning uh, I've got the tractor up here I've got the truck up here um, I'm gonna hook the truck up to the trailer and uh, so when the guys show up tomorrow it'll just be hop in the truck hop in the uh, tractor and get back to the hay field um, I'll be just bailing right in front of uh, the uh, the truck and the trailer and the loader. Um, so that way we won't have the fire ant issue. Um, that, that's one thing. And, and something I normally do is uh, is wait to do the bailing the day that we're picking it up. Um, as long as I have the crew and the experienced crew to be able to drive the truck and load the hay at the same time, um, that's, that's typically what I'll do to avoid those fire ants. So... But, like I said, it's a commitment. you got to commit to it. Uh, it's uh, just past noon sometime, uh, about 2 o'clock. And I've still got to service uh, the baler. And, uh, and then I should have a little bit of free time here to cool off a little bit. Um, after, I, uh, after I service the rake. And then, uh, and then you know, give the hay some more time to cure and, and go back there and rake it. And be ready to go in the morning. So... Stick around. It's going to be another fun adventure. Uh, might see a John Deere on fire. I don't know. Still uh, undecided yet. But uh, yeah, man time.
Alright, so here's something interesting that I found. This is uh, looking in from the, uh, if you're driving a car on the uh, left hand side, this is looking in from the left hand side. Um, this is a brake uh, that doesn't allow the machine to make a bail as it's uh, trying to um, run the wire for the bail. And there was a pin that uh, this assembly was uh, pivoting on that is now gone. So I'm going to have to get in there and figure out if it will go ahead and run without it or if I can make one uh, or what. Because um, what happens is there's a piece of linkage under here that runs back and sits right here and right now it's being held back by uh, this little piece of metal on the um, forks that run down here uh, so when that comes up to run that wire up for the next bale this releases that brake sets and then uh, my machine won't destroy itself so um, right now it's in time and uh, doesn't allow that to happen and if I'm careful um, by watching uh, where the bales at before I shut the machine off I should be okay but it's definitely something that needs to get fixed so next step is to see if I can fix it and see what size uh, pin I need Greasing extravaganza. A nice big grease gun here. Here we are looking into the ram and one of your most important grease cirques is uh, I can't get you in close enough but it's right there right there all right now for the funnest part of this adventure trying to get the new bailing wire in here Let's see how it goes. Oh, and boy, they are heavy. I haven't really figured out a way, a good way, to get these things in here without uh, Hey now. Alright, we got one. Let's go for two. Oh my goodness. Bailing wire. All right, so these little holes in here are phase one of uh, running our bailing wire. So we're going to take it out of the front of the package here. And what do we get? Finish end. Okay, we don't want the finish end, we want the start end. You can kind of make that easy for you. Alright, cut all the uh, tape inside of here. And, get our start end. Start 
this end. Okay. And first things first, right through a little grommet on the front here. And then in through there. Okay, same on side number two here. So from here. Yeah, there's just not enough room under here for both of us. Sorry, fellow YouTubers. Okay, I got one of them. Right there. All right, the next one is a touch more involved without all of this hay dust, life would not be complete. I just like when it runs down your arms and in inside of your shirt area. That of the eyes. Uh, it's really hard to, to say which I like better. Eyes uh, or, you know, just skin on skin with it. Uh, okay. Both of my uh, wheels down here um, are feeling pretty good. Last step here is to remove all the bailing wire and run the new bailing wire in the same spot. Show you why you buy American in just a second here. Let's see if uh, see if there's a difference. Okay, now we've got to underwire one here. Okay, you just want it run right in line um, with your uh, spears. So that should pick up with that spear, and uh, and then come up to your uh, come up to your knotters. I think uh, I think that's it. Um, yeah, can you see the uh, where I got them tied off there? Yeah, I think you saw it. All right. Well, sometimes it isn't pretty, it isn't glamorous, and uh, it's not uh, thrilling. 
Although, uh, it is hard work. Uh, so I've got the um, rake serviced. Uh, I'm really concerned, actually, about one of the um, one of the U joints wasn't taking grease. I'm gonna have to watch that uh, as I go and and do the raking here. Um, baler, uh, I'm gonna hook that up so the brake is not gonna be operable um, for this cut. But again, it's watching when it's making uh, a bail before you shut it down, before you stop, and before you shut it down. That brake plays a part uh, if there's a case where you don't shut it down at the right spot as it's trying to make a bail. It stops halfway um, and, and then it won't continue to pack and then just destroy itself. So uh, it's going to be a stressful day again tomorrow. Well, that's what happens in man time. Go out there, have you some man time too. All right, gang, uh, we got our baler uh, with some fresh wire. Um, it needs to go ahead and start that first knot. Um, so that's what I'm gonna do here now. I'm gonna show you how to do that. And then uh, after it has that first knot, um, then as it starts packing the hay in, we need to set the wheel um, so it's gonna make another bail uh, directly after that. So um, I will try to uh, get the camera in here so you can see how all this stuff operates. Uh, it's gonna be a little noisy with the tractor going. But uh, yeah, I'll show you how to do it. Um, and like I said, we've got our wire uh, that I that I did, um, and and we'll just jump into it here. All right, so the baler's running here. Uh, got some hay left in there, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna make that first knot. The way we do that is with this wheel right. Here. See that action where those uh, hooks came up, made the knot. Everything is good there. We got some hay in there, that's good. Next thing we're gonna do is set the wheel so all it needs is a little bit of hay um, and then it's gonna make that second knot and then we can go through and start bailing. Just wanna make sure that both uh, uh, our wire has come up through there. We should be good to go. Whew. All right, gang. Uh, first day, something has actually gone right. I made it all the way through the field uh, without busting a bale. Uh, baler tractor worked perfectly. Um, beyond that, though, the uh, the hay loader, the chain is uh, is loose on there, and I'm out of adjustment. Um, we're going to try to limp by throughout the rest of the day and get uh, the rest of the hay picked up. But my crew showed up. Um, I got one guy had called, um, and then uh, ended up being able to call another guy to help us out. So I'm gonna go down there and, uh, and check out the hay loader and see if there's anything to be done there. Um, another day, man time. <laughs> 